course, during my small days, from the time I was about 10 years old, my hobby was collecting cricket pictures. And I used to play with little children, with kadru ball and pull with the bat at Kaligan Kohl, where my father and mother were teaching. Mm. Then I switched on to tennis ball and later on to leather ball. My, I started schooling at Richmond College in the primary classes from 41 to 47. Then from 47 to 54, I was at St. Lawrence's Gold. It was there I, where I started playing cricket and cheering at matches. We had five houses and whether we play or not, we have to cheer the, the house team and cheer it with the house flag. So it went on like that. I played up to second 11 at St. Lawrence's. And when the first 11 played matches, we used to cheer with the college flag. What's the color? Green and gold. What's the matter? Mind matter. Are we downhearted? No. Are we uphearted? Yes. Those are the cheering words during our school time. Then uh, at college I studied up to SSC. During those days, there were only two grounds where they played cricket. Sarah Stadium in Colombo and Gaul Cricket State Club in Gaul. Those days, foreign teams used to come. When it comes to Gaul, they play a whistle stop match. England, India, Australia, all the teams come there. So we as small children used to go and watch the match and cheer a little. Of course, we didn't have the flag at that time. Then it went on like that. From college, from St. Lawrence, I went to Aquinas University College to do my advanced level London exam in economics, British constitution and economic history. There was a nice thing happened. I sat for the two British constitution and economics and economic history paper. At Sarah Stadium, they were playing Tamil Nadu versus Ceylon, Gopalan Trophy cricket match. One of our hardest hitters of the ball I had ever seen, C.I. Gunasekar was hammering the Tamil Nadu attack to all around the grounds. He took daylight out of the whole Tamil Nadu bowling side. And one of my friends who was cricket crazy, when we were sitting for this paper in the afternoon, he said, my chance here is hammering like hell. I began on the match. This is a difficult paper. He got up and I got up and we went to see the match. And we won the match and see I got a double century. And I failed the exam. My father and father especially, mother were principals of schools with good principals. And when I got the results, the results came from London. I had passed my British Council and Economics. Economic history paper, they had put two small letters, three small letters, ABS. My father's attitude was, you can seek for a paper and you can get a bad failure. If you cut the paper, you had it. So I was scared. He asked me what is this in small letters, ABS. I said, it's a bad failure. Next day, my father went to Aquinas for the Peter Pile, for the Peter Pile, for the rector. He had asked what he is. He says, this is a bad way. No, no, he had not gone for the paper. Then he came back home. I didn't know that he had gone. After about three days, he asked me, tell the truth, what happened? Did you attend the paper? The paper? Did, you, did you go and watch a match? So I knew that he had come to know it. He gave me a slap and said, You can kill a man and tell that you killed me. We can look after you. But don't do this type of dirty thing. And he thought, it's useless spending money for studies. And handed me over to Sir Cyril de Soiza in the 
AMW group of companies who was also connected to us and he was a very strict disciplinary. 61 I joined AMW, 68 I, I captained the AMW cricket team in the mercantile tournament and won the D division of the mercantile tournament beating Lake House at Rifle Green, the present Air Force grounds. So it went on like that and I was at MW for 20 years with uh, civil service and crowd. The present chairman took over in 82 and I am with him about 33 years now. Now he is the 53rd year in my company. My company management, when I want to retire at 55, they told me, why do you want to retire? Actually my relations grow on bond and will come. He said, don't retire. If you stay at home, you'll fall sick. You can be with us till you can walk and talk. Then when I completed the 50 years, I said, so now enough. They said, don't worry, you be with us. Even on a wheelchair, we are welcome. Now I just go and come. Sometimes they don't know whether I come for work or not. When they want me, they call me and get me down. But I don't know, normally skip birth. I almost come every day. I don't have any medical leave or this leave or that leave. Because they believe that I, I don't believe in that type of uh, What was the first match you ever cheered for? Uh, that's a good question. Mm. Way back in 1948, I was studying at Richmond in primary school. I was 12 years old, knowing that I am a cricket man. And I make how he was collecting cricket pictures at that time and playing cricket with Kadru Bowl and Paul Pitti Bat. Two of my elder brothers, they took me to Colombo by train and took me to the Sara Stadium where they played the match between, missile stop match between Australia and Sri Lanka. Australians, of course, captained by Don Bradman and Sri Lanka by Mahadevan Satasana. The ticket cost 25 cents and we watched the match and it was quite interesting to, out of all the cricketers in the world, even up to now, to have seen Bradman and of course Mahadevan Satasium, who is also one of the best batsmen in the world at that time. How hopeful are you of seeing the boys in the finals? Actually, I am missing them and they are missing me. I will be there for the next match, first of March against. England at Wellington. In fact, they, there was a small interview at the cricket board where I spoke to them and I prayed that they win the World Cup this time, 2015, and wish them best of luck. Actually, I have full of hope that our team will be in the World Cup this time. Even in, on Skype, sometime back at the cricket board, I told them, I dreamt them getting, becoming the world champions in 19, 2015, and uh, they were laughing. And I said, all oh, this, my dreams have come true. In fact, once I told Asuddi when he was going to bat that he, I dreamt he getting out to the third ball and he got out with the third ball and he thought I am a charmer. I am not a charmer or not even a farmer. But I should say that our hopes are very good. All the other teams I have feeling, they will be hoping against hope. Actually one day, Kumar Sangakkara at Hambantra during a match, he told me, Percy, 
you are a legacy. I told him, yes, I am a legacy from my infancy. From, from the start, I had to go through the mill to come up to this hill. And it was due to dedication, application, presentation, and your talent, and the command of the language, knowledge of the game, history of the game, to have played the game, and all those things contributed to be, to have my cheering as a profession and even my present profession in my workplace is a public relations consultant. So sometimes foreign journalists, they want to define for me to tell what type of job I am doing. So I didn't know, want to take time to explain this, that. I used to say, I'm the public relations consultant for insurgents. So I should say, from the very inception up to now, it was the love of the game, knowledge of the game, as I said, the language, and patriotism, which has brought me up to this level. Actually, I admire all the Sri Lankan cricketers from the very inception of M. Satasivams, F. C. D. Serums, up to now. If there is any particular cricketer in any match, the man of the match is my favorite cricketer. And I don't have favorites, special favorites. Man of the match of any man is my favorite cricketer, Sri Lankan cricketer. Wherever they play, it's not my business. Compared to the past and present cricketers, I can't see much of a difference. From the past cricketers, we had FCD Serum, he was Oxford Blue. He played for Oxford and he scored a century against the all-conquering Bradman's team. C.I. Gunasekara was one of the hardest hitters of the world I have seen. Mahesh Rodrigo was a double international. Sago Jayakram, Ben Narathan was one of the best wicket keepers we had seen. We should have got a status those days, not now. But there was no one to push our case to the ICC. Anyway, it went on like that. The new generation came up in the footsteps of the old generation. And I should say, because of the good start given by the former cricketers, like what I told you earlier, Present day cricketers are not second to them. So we won the World Cup and we came up to four or five finals in those tournaments and couldn't they could be the winners. And present day cricketers, I should say, with the captaincy of Angelo Matthews, whom I should say is not second to any other captain. Arjuna, I should say, he had been the best captain in the whole world. If there is a world team, my captain will be Arjuna Ranjanga. Now, Angelo has followed in the footsteps of Arjuna. Of course, he is not that tough like Kaljuna, but he had the qualities of a Dhoni, the Indian captain, and I am sure with Sangakkar, Mahir Javadana, Dilshan, four captains in the team, who were a captain and the present captain. We have very good betting lineup.